uh, Atlantis, uh, just three tips how to uh, improve your work. Clever use of materials or shaders in Atlantis. Uh, this is done by a friend of mine who has spent endless hours testing out Atlantis. Um, as you can see, very simple model uh, taken from Archicad, uh, the texture is applied in Atlantis. This is uh, just the texture, without any kind of adjustment, just applied to the wall. This is the other one, texture with a bump map, you don't see a difference. But when he applied the specular map, you see this. Let me go back, so you see the difference. Uh, if you are buying textures from as many uh, you have it on, you have them on the internet as much as you want, uh, you always get two images. One is the texture and color, and the other one is black and white. The black and white you use for bump maps and for specular. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know now. Uh, in the black and white image, if it's white, it reflects. If it's black, it doesn't reflect. I don't know right now which is which. But as you can see here, the difference is very, very clear. Much more realistic image in this way than the other way around. <coughs> Wooden floor. This is not a photography, this is a Pontus image. The same principle as before. Texture with a bump and a specular map. When I saw this, I was like, wow. As you can see, the football is not very good, but the plastic chair and the floor are great. Porcelain material applied to this uh, piece of uh, coat, whatever. Uh, color is set to black in Atlantis. This, the Atlantis, uh, I should say, Atlantis way, because uh, it cannot do all the things we want to adjust it uh, first touch. So we have to adjust it a bit. This material is set basically <coughs> to black, and when it's rendered, it looks good. The same with the pipe. Chrome is not chrome. Because chrome is from the older version of Atlantis, it doesn't look good. This is a mirror shader. And as you can see, the result is very, very good. And now using the shaders. I wanted to show you this one. This is one of the images I did. Uh, <coughs> a bug in Atlantis, which we will see all the time. Over here and over here, I have the same lighting. But if you go further, uh, the light is weaker, as you can see here and here. It's okay, but in the back, it's almost non existent. It's a bug in Atlantis which you should look out for. Uh, they still haven't worked it out, so just have it in your mind uh, not to not to fool around and make a mistake as I did here. But if you do this, shadows are always a problem. Uh, you must know what you need to, what you want to get out of it, so you can adjust it. Uh, over here, there are only four light sources uh, in the in the ceiling, as you can see on the, the, in these four folds. I use the neon light shader, and the shadows around the TV are very soft. If I use point lights or whatever it was, the, these lights would be very very hard and very sharp. So, if you want to get realistic lighting, use the diffuse lighting as much as you can. And for the Glass light, the neon glass shader. This is similar to the Lightworks light, the Lightworks light in Archicad, which you can apply to Windows. I got it here. Basically, it's cheating. It's a small light source, which gives some depth to this image. Looks good. It is cheating, but nobody knows it except me. So, if you want to emphasize something, like, of course, you can adjust the uh, the strength of the of the of the shader, so it doesn't have to be this strong. I want it to be this way. It turned out good, I think. Because if it wasn't, of course, that would be in the shadow, and nothing would be visible. 